Here I am, less than a minute later. <laughs> it's a few seconds later. Still here in the same place. I've got going to put more thread, more cotton on, but I want to end this off first. So I'm going to show you how to end that off and how to start the next bit. <clears throat> I'll do one more stitch. As long as it doesn't come undone on me. I'm trying to. It's where I didn't have any cotton. The way I'm trying to make it go further, but. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing that, is there? <laughs> Make it go further. One more, eh? <laughs> uh, just for fun. Oh, come on, done. Ah, oh, well. Now I've got to go and end it off. With only t I've actually had to put my needle through the work first and then thread it because I didn't have the string long, the cotton long enough. So we can go through to the inside here, all right, pull that up reasonably tight, catch it onto one of the other threads up a bit further, only the second one back. It's not going too far, and this ended off under there. Okay, so when I'm going to cut that off so it doesn't get caught in everything because I'm going along. Um, so we're going to put some more on, <clears throat> more pink. Finish going around there. Actually, I told you I wasn't going to come back till I finished it, did I? And here I am, still sewing along. Well, you don't have to watch it, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well, I do. But I thought I'd come back when I'd finished it, but I haven't. I thought, now, I'd better show them how to end it off and start up again. So you're going to come back, back in underneath the bottom here, of where you finished it off, and we're going to just keep going along, okay? And maybe you just can fast-forward me if you don't want to watch me finish making this, okay? I'm going to just do the best I can because I don't want to rush it and wreck it, you know, I just want to make it nice, okay? And, um, because that's just, be silly, wouldn't it, to muck it up after going to all this trouble. You can put something on the top if you like, but I'm just going to put a button in it because you've got your needles and that on there. And you don't want them to be getting caught up in everything either, do you? You know, you don't want to, you don't want that to happen. Getting caught up in the cotton or whatever you put on the top of it. <clears throat> so when you think about it, see, I don't have that much left over. You know, like, best not to cut any off until you... You know, you're sure because this is the size of this, and those. Well, if you use one of those tape things like I used as a template for it, you want to, um, which probably could be the best way to do it, you know. Otherwise, you've got to work out your circumference of your circle and do it around the thing. And you know me, I don't like the math the business at all, me, I'm not doing math. Actually, I was like quite good at it at school, but. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, Mum said I was the only one in the family that she didn't have to make do their own work. I used to do my homework. Now, that doesn't sound <laughs> good, does it? I mean, it does sound good, but oh well. What are you going to do? See, so, well, where I come to, I've got just enough knots. Right, see? I've got, when I did my me, me little knots, I was just, just right, it is. So I'm going to actually do the other side before I fasten this up how I want it to be, okay? I'm going to do the other side first. I'll come right to the end here. I think I want to take it in like that. I don't think I want to have, see, I want to make a seam like that. I don't think I want to have it um, any other way. But see, I'm going to put the filling in here too. That's another thing I should have told you. We have filling. You know what you do? You go and you get your cushion, <laughs> if you haven't got any. Cut a hole in the end of the cushion, nick a bit out, <laughs> pillow off your bed, whatever you want to do. It's not, it's not that hard. Toy filling costs a lot of money. You don't need to buy that. You need to just go and buy a cushion. Pillow. A pillow are not, pillows are not very dear, you know, like you, they are, but you can get the one that's not very dear and it's just got fill it in it like this that I've just gone and got Jeremy to pull out of the cushion because <laughs> because mine's over I have got the biggest amount of this stuff but that's all you need a bit of a bit of wadding like this and you just pull it apart I'll make it you know nice and cozy now 
I'm, <coughs> we'll do that in a minute. I've got to do the bottom now. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave this piece of thread on here. Oh, I might do it with the other bit. I don't know. I don't know if I want to leave it on there or not. Oh dear. I've got a sore eye. Sorry. Sorry about that. My eyes just give me a bit of a hard time. I might just leave it. I'm going to thread it back on because I've got a lot left over. I sort of didn't want to cut it off there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end it off. I'm going to end it because I need to go right to the end but because I don't want to be missing a stitch, do I? So if I do that, oh, that should go down in there. Righto. So I'm putting that down in there. This bit underneath it, hooking it around that way. See? I've just hooked that around there. So I can just end it off and then I'll come and do the other side now. And there. I don't know, I'm not timing myself yet again. I just can't can't believe I all I gotta do is, is look a tiny bit to my left and see what time it is. And I'll do that. It's ten to eleven, but I've been back on here for about five minutes, haven't I? So maybe even longer. So I've got that sitting there like that. Now if I don't like the end of it when it comes to that, I can just cut it off or something and redo it. Now we're putting this bit on. Okay. So to put this bit on, I need to start right at the beginning because <clears throat> that, cause that side's the right length, isn't it? So I'm going to go back, I'm going to go under there and this way I'm doing it back a different way because I'm doing it. <clears throat> I'm just going to go over this side, under there, and just you catch that, that's all. Because you're just doing a blanket stitch, but we're doing it so we can see what's happening, you know, both sides here. So you can see how much um, cotton you've got on the top and the bottom to make the trim, because that's what we're doing. We're, put, we're more or less putting a trim around it, aren't we? You know, I wouldn't do it this any other way by gluing something on there. That wouldn't look good. So we should probably make it like this. <laughs> this is the right way to do it, I say. Okay, there we go. That's looking good. Yeah. I think I like that. I do think I like this. I find myself a big button too. Put on a button. It just doesn't have to go on there until after you've got nearly finished because um, <clears throat> you can put a button on it or you can just sew a piece of thread through it. Uh, yeah, so. We've got a long way to go yet. Oh, not really. We're not. It's not too bad. We're getting there. Not too bad. A little bit awkward to 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 do once you get to this sort of stage, but it's it's holding together all right. It's co cooperating pretty good. If we were using some other sort of fabric, it'd be flapping around all over the place. Because it's this felt, it sort of likes to. It goes it goes really good, doesn't it? sits there nicely for you. Hey, there we go. Looking good. Nothing better than when you're pleased with what you're doing, is it? Nothing better at all when you're pleased with what you're doing. Hey, very good. I like that. I've also made the one, the one in the shape of a chair. I don't know if I'll get to do that for a while yet. I'll see what I'm doing. I've got, to, I've got to come up with ideas, don't I, now? I need my ideas. But there's so many things out there to learn that I can teach you to do, and I really enjoy doing it, you know. I like to show people how to make stuff. I really do. I know how to do it. I get more intrigued about helping somebody make stuff than I do with doing my own. <laughs> I do now sometimes because... I guess over the years I've made so much stuff and it's not bragging, it's just wow, you know what I mean? It's just <laughs> not bragging, I'm just saying that I have because it's been years that I've been doing this. Many years. And it's um just made so much stuff and you just think, oh now, what do I do next? <laughs> I do I do like the journals because you get a different variety of things. Well you see you can with a lot of other stuff too. I mean I might do a bit more crazy patchwork and some slow stitching because I really enjoy doing those. 
I really like doing them. I've got a, a lot of things though. I really enjoy this sort of stuff though. Like I said the other day, I think I found me calling. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. So, now I've gone in the inside and I've hookied that around there. And I'm going to end that off. I'll wrap it a couple, at least twice and can get them done there, you. Okay, so there we're going to start up a bit more thread. I'm going to start with a bit more thread. I don't suppose anybody remembers what time I said it was. <laughs> And you can't really tell me because I've been, by the time you see this, I'll be finished it, won't I? Hopefully. I'll have it done. I do love this colour on the top of here. I do like them all, actually. Now, we've got a knot in the back of it. I know people don't do knots in embroidery, but when you're doing something like this, you can afford to do that because you can't see the back. When you're doing something like a... Um, embroidered uh, doily or something um, you want the back of the front to look the same uh, now I've got, a, I've got a cough again now this is not good I'm busy, I've got time for that coughing thing uh, <clears throat> keep trying to stop them to the drink of water I don't know, it must be something in the air it's, although they, the weather is absolutely beautiful you swear it was springtime and we're supposed to be getting some winter stuff. But that's not bad. I'm not complaining. I've got to have... Um, I've got to go and get a, a thing for my hand. Because my hands start to give me a hard time now when I'm doing stuff. Got some, got to get some sort of support for it. Um, especially my right one. I got, yeah, well, it is my right one that I need to... With because I get some really bad pains in that when it gets cold now. It's um, not thanking my mother for giving me arthritis, but she never had it. The rest of her family did, but she didn't. And it's, um, I suppose, not her fault again. I don't know. God, of course it is. I'm blaming her anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Poor old body doesn't like it at all. That's why I like the summertime. In the summertime, you think... Oh, I'm not hurting. What's going on? <laughs> Is everything okay? I'm not hurting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be fine. My husband keeps me cosy and warm. We even have the heater running in the bedroom for a while the night time we go there to bed just to warm, take the chill off the air and then if it gets too cold during the night he'll put on another blanket or turn the heater back on for a while. It's only one of those little blow heaters but it hasn't cost us like a, anything much to well it costs money to run but not that bad I mean we get uh, people are still using wood here and it's not good because it's bad for the for everybody really now look at me I've got this all skew whiff look at it because I've been must have not pulled on something and pulled on something else the wrong way this has got to go in there it's just how it's supposed to work, isn't it? Let's put that in there and just see. We're not going to panic just yet. We should wait until we get to the end <laughs> before we start to panic. It'll be fine. I have no doubt that it will work. Oh, dear, that twisted round. I'll just have to take that back out. There we go. I have no doubt at all that this will be fine. I'll just put that... I don't know if mine went like this. Could have did. It's not actually going bad. It's just, it's just a um. Because I've got extra at the end, I'm thinking it's not fitting in here, but it is. And I'm going to fill it with stuff any minute now. I might. Oh no! I'll keep going a bit further. So what do you what you need to do is make sure you're not pulling on the felt because it is, it does move a bit. But see, this is going to be fine. I mean, look at that. It fits really good. Because you've got all that extra, see? Because I had... But I don't want to take it off. Because I just don't want to. I want to just leave it there. Okay. Right. So now we've got this little bit. Go a bit further. Because I can still put filling in there. A bit further along. Oops. Come on, done. Unthreaded. And a knot. 
patience, Sonia. I gotta, I've got to have patience. And this way, through there, and this way, through there, and this way, through there. And keep going, one more stitch. And keep stopping and threading it, but you know what? It's part of the stitching. <laughs> part of how it works and through there and it doesn't really matter which is your top and which is your bottom either does it it's up to yourself what you use so look we're nearly there look at this this hasn't really taken that long to make you know considering it's not bad is it it's not bad at all well, am I going to turn that one under or not I won't worry about that for the time being I'll just nick this out of here so I can because where I've ended that off I did it a bit that way and a bit that way. That doesn't matter. We've come to the come to the end here for a minute, and we're going to put some filling in there. Okay, so I got this out of the cushion outside <laughs> the lounge room. I have a great big one out there that I actually have at the back of my chair, and I do nick bits out of there if I need it. Sometimes I was sitting out there one day and couldn't find any, so I do. I go snip that undone, pull that out. Of there. <laughs> you don't want to invite me to your house to sew. <laughs> I'll be pulling your cushions apart. Pull them. <laughs> nah, I won't. I won't. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, well, I have got heaps of this. Only, actually, what I've got is the doll filling because my mother had it and I just have a stack of it somewhere. It's over there on the other side of the room. Nobody panic. We've got this. To get it out, it would have been a lot of painful experience for me, so I'll just do this way, okay? We'll put this up, and this will work really good. It'll it'll just take in the pins just like any other thing would, so so it will. Yeah, I just hope I've got enough here, because I want it to be... You need him to be stuffed really good. You want him to be, you know, him, her, whatever you can be, because you can be called. I'm really pleased with the colours I picked for this. I am really, really pleased with this. I've, at first, I was, I was just so very undecided when I first started. I thought, oh dear, because you know, which one will I use? It's just <laughs> should probably just pick something and go with it. Sometimes we do agonise over things though, too much. I'm coming. The, these pair have been sewed together like a different. Intervals. I've got a bit coming to there, and that bit comes to there where I've sewed it up. Oh, come on, get in there. I'm going to put more in. Now, I could have, maybe I should have, put the cardboard inside, but I don't think so. I'm, I'm thinking we put it on the outside. Okay, we're going to put the cardboard on the outside because I'm going to put all this in here. Oh, there's still more over there in a minute. I've got this enough. And then I'm going to shape it and then I'm going to close it. And I think I'll put the cardboard on the bottom or a bit of whatever. You can put something then on top, over top of your cardboard, you know. So you want him to look, look nice when you're stuffing him. You want him to round about, make him round, her, it, whatever. <laughs> okay, so now I've got to fix it. I've got to to fix it and close it up. Now this part here I need to come back across there and fix that bit that closed and I need to finish coming around here so I'm going to do this. Now I know it's like looks a bit wonky but I will fix it in a minute. That, in a minute. We need to put fill this hole in, in so that it's looks better. I've got to put a pin in there I think. I don't know. It's even and hang on to it while I do this bit here that I want to finish up. Right. Now I've got two pieces of thickness of felt there, but I'm only going to try and catch on to one because I don't want to see that there's two bits. If you understand? I'm going to, I'm going to catch on to one bit piece. I haven't been taking that back in there far enough, have I? Still got it. It's overlapping. Here where I'll come to. 
I have to turn that back in further. I can't. It's all right. I'm going to push that in there. Come on. Get in there. It doesn't want to, does it? It want to turn under. Come on, just turn under there for me, please. <laughs> Fighting with the thing. I'm actually going to try to hook. So, not hook. <laughs> so that round there like that. All right. And then we're going to come down here. I don't know whether I want to be able to see this or not. I don't think so. I'm going to duck down behind this so you can't see what I'm doing. We'll <laughs> see so you can't see what I did. I'm through there. It might be a little stitch or two out there, but it doesn't matter, does it, if you could a couple of little stitches. I'll go back and cover it over later. I'm just, well, I will do it now, but I want to show you that I'm going to close it like this. And get some shape or other to it, I hope. If I haven't pulled that back in too far, make it wonky. Can you get down in there? That's a knot. I'm trying to get rid of that knot. You just need to manoeuvre it a bit. And it will work for you. I still got that thread it, yeah. Okay. Now we need to put that bit of a stitch down in there. No? Does that come over there? Oops. Come on, Sonia. You can do this. I hope I haven't got this skew with. That's all right. Is it going right? Give it a test. Push and a poke. There we go. I don't know. Now, this piece here, what I've done, because I've come back along there, but it's all up the top instead of down the bottom. What have I got here? Okay. We're not going to worry about that too much. It sticks stitch together, and that's all we need. Okay. Jeez, it keeps coming unthreaded, though, doesn't it? This needle. They're going to be crying about that soon. It's not good at all. Ah. Right. Now I might just do a couple of stitches down here, eh? Don't come unthreaded again. Stop pulling it, Sonia, and it might not. I've got that going all right. There we go. It doesn't matter if you see the stitching. The whole thing's got the stitching out. <laughs> Look what I've done. I've unthreaded it again. I think I might have made it a bit skew with on this end bit, but I don't know. It'll be fine. It'll look good when we're finished. It'll be good. Okay. Now put that through there. Hey, whoops. Don't, oh, don't come on, thread it again. <laughs> I'm a terrible time with the thread, aren't I? Okay, now that's pretty cool. That's nice. I do like it. I still do like it, even though where we've ended off is not exactly the duckiest bit we've ever seen, but it's still, it's got the stitches on it and they look really good. And why have I got this bit hanging out here? Oh, I know. I just pulled it through from up there. <laughs> Clever. Right, there's your pin cushion. Okay, so a little bit um, wonky on that part, but I'm not, I'm going forgive myself for that because I think it looks really cool and then now all you have to do is put a button on there if you want to or you can just pull a thread through it um, I'll just get a button here and show you how to do that because we want to get it the right way now I've got this big jar of buttons right this is not all I sorry about that noise but I've got some bit. Oh, look at that. Does that look good? Oh, we can have that one. Yeah, that looks good. I do like these. Wow. How about that? You need to you, leave room to put your pins in, Sonia. But I do like to have a scratch through anyway, you know. That's neat. Where's the inside for that, I wonder? 
I'd say that's got a um, bit and piece missing out of there. I could sit that on there, couldn't I? Nobody's going to know that that doesn't belong on there. I do like it, don't you reckon? What do you think? Yes, okay, we'll do that. So we're going to get a needle and thread again, but I need something to go through the button. If this is not going to fit through the button, I can't use it. Only just. Only just. Or you can use one of these big buttons like in this. They come off coats or whatever. That's nice. Too. Now I like the flowery one. It's more pin cushion like, isn't it, really? More of a thing you'd use for the pin cushion. Now where's the orange? Where's the orange colour? Stuff here somewhere. Mm, where did that go? That'd be wrong with it, isn't it? Here it is. Right, I could have a mouth that bit me. I want to put that in there. Right, I do. <coughs> I'm hoping that this thread's going to go through there good enough for me. So, um, the idea is to pull this through, and we could probably have a button on the other side as well. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put a piece of cardboard under mine, and you won't see the button anyway. But the idea is that you'll put a button there, and a button there, and pull that down like so. Okay? But we don't have to if we're going to put um, a piece of card under it. And I think we need to do that to save our needles going missing, you know. So we start at the bottom part, which I'm going to pick out, which is the top, which is the bottom here. Let me see. It's not that bad, hard a decision to make, but, you know, I like this way. <laughs> Dear idea. So I'm going to come through the bottom in the middle. And we're going to go up through the top here. And what would have been a good idea would be to use a bigger needle, but it's going to, like a longer one. But this is going to hold, this has went through anyway. And this button I know had another piece in the centre of it, so I'm going to put this other button on top of it to make it look like, you know, it's supposed to be there. And it's middle. And then go back through the other way, down through there, back through the other side. Now what you want to do is make sure you go through, actually I'm, sh I'm sure I should be using this, but it won't fit through. I've got a really big um, needle there, a doll needle, and that would be good if I had a bigger hole, but I don't, so I can't do that. But I want to make sure I come out near that, because if near the piece I went that went through, because otherwise you're going to have it sewn all over the place really, and you don't want that, do you, for it to be screw with. So you pull that down there like that as best you can, which is not bad. That's not bad for the best I can, is it? Okay, now I've got to hang on to it really tight and go back up again. Let's see if we can go through again. Mightn't be able to find the hole. Oh, yes, I did, look. Take it through again. <laughs> I hope you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like a little donut, isn't it? And go back through there and come out at the bottom part. And so, therefore, there's your pin cushion. Now I probably, it's really nice and solid now because it's got enough stuff in it. And then all you need, well you could have put a button on there too, but like I said, I want to put um, a piece of felt on, my, a piece of cardboard on mine, so I'm not going to, actually I will put felt on over top of the cardboard because it will be better. Now, do I have a piece of card? I know I did. I've got a piece of your room that came out of the uh, sheet thing the other day, whatever what these we bought. Here we go. Here's a piece off the, off the biscuits. We've got a piece off the crusket box. Now, I'm going to use the template thing that I used to put the... Where did I put that? Okay. Where are you? <laughs> We're only here. We never moved from here, did we? Nope. The buttons back up here. Oh, let's draw around the piece of stuff. Hey? Let's draw around the. That wasn't the circle I used. Where's another thing? In plain sight, nowhere. So I'm using it. It's easy to draw around. It is sitting here looking at me. It's easy to draw around this. Keep your pencil right against the thing. It might stick out a little ways too. That's a, a bit of an issue, but we can still deal with it, can't we? 
will be right. We can fix that. I'll show you what to do. We're going to cut this out. I eat these cruskets for my lunch usually. Very tasty. And uh, I have a lot of these boxes. And then I save the boxes off the tissue box. I'm starting to save the boxes off Jeremy's oats. <laughs> I said to him, you know, sometimes I just... The other day, actually, cut the tissue box, rolled it up, put a piece of sticky tape on it, said, here, yeah, put that in the bin. It went from a size that to this size. So that was what I did. Bit of good recycling there. Now, this is... Um, a bit bigger than the base so I'm going to take a bit more off it because I didn't cut wrongly me, me line here did I look I didn't cut along this line and it might make it a bit smaller and that's okay because then we can put a piece of felt on the bottom of it and it'll be finished off really nice you know because then you can you can use it yourself or gift it to a friend or something, can't you? You just have to glue it on. Oops, and then we'll put it on top of there. That won't work, will it? Still not the right size. Because it's been drawn in a bit, hasn't it? Okay, go around again, Sonia. Okay, so you can just sit here and cut this off like you're peeling an apple until it comes <laughs> with one, one thing. I used to do that when we were kids. See if you could peel the apple without the, uh, the skin breaking off, eh? It was good fun. You had to do that. Or you couldn't do the oranges very good. I suppose if you had a good knife, you could. I mean, we used to do that with our fruit. I'm sure everybody might have had a go at it. <laughs> People down the, over the years would have had a try. Right. Okay, so that's on the top. We can't stick it on the top. So you don't make a mistake and stick it on the top. I have a bit of a skew iffy thing going on here. I don't know what I've done. Maybe just when I put the stuffing in. Filling. The filling in. I'm going to use this piece here to stick on the bottom. And you really need glue on the outside anyway. And then I'm going to put a piece of felt on it. Should I do that first? Measure the felt first, so you should have done that first. And it won't matter if it's a bit bigger. Why was it? The glue won't come out because I've got crap on the bottom of it there, haven't I? I've got stuff everywhere. This way. This way. Alright, but you don't do this if you put the button on because that's, you know. going to use this piece to put on the bottom, I think. Yeah, I will. I'll cut it out this size, and then maybe I'll have to trim it, I don't know yet. See what happens. Sorry if I'm not in the shot here, I hope I am. things are just too wrong oh, this one's cut better these are all right these scissors and I kept the reason I've kept them so good for so long is because I couldn't I didn't use them because they're too big but I can use them I suppose I better better use them I've got a brand new pairs out there in the, uh, in my lounge room okay so that's going to go on the bottom of there and it looks okay don't you think? Yep, it does. It's kind of sort of the it's the right size. Let me take the crap off the top of this. Even though I'm not going to cut anything back on it because I'm going to stick it down so it goes right up against the other felt. I'm going to put it right up against the other felt on it. Now, um. In hindsight, I suppose you did have to use felt on the bottom. I was going to say, you probably wouldn't have had to use any felt on the bottom of this. You could have covered it over anyway. 
but this is not how I did make the other one with just two buttons but I want to put the felt bottom on this one and whether I'm going to cut some off that or not I don't know or I could just sew around that again <laughs> with that on there you see that would have been a good idea wouldn't it to put the cardboard inside underneath that before I stitch this on wouldn't that have been a good way to go but because this is a little bit bigger than the other I'm going to go do that I won't do it and make you suffer through that but I think I'm going to do that I'm going to sew that on there I'll just show you just in case you want to have a do that to do that too um, I'm going to stitch it to it because I have got it a little bit bigger and therefore it will um, it'll work see I'm going to put my cotton in behind there so that with me, with me um, knot hide me knot under there and come along here and stitch this to this with glue and all because that's what's I've got stuck on the glue okay so I'm going to go around and fasten it on and make it look better and that will make it look better I'm catching on to that other thread that's there let's go along here it's only made it a tiny bit bigger than the than the boss name whoops now if you've had enough of sewing which you no you wouldn't have done surely <laughs> You might not want to do this, but I think it's going to end it off better. You know, you want to you want to end it off nicely. So I'm what I'm doing is just picking up the green, picking up the oops, I forgot that bit, picking up the piece onto the on the purple and making a another row of stitching. Look, picking that up there like that and this. Now, you could do it with the by putting the cardboard in there first. Because I didn't want my cardboard to be seen. You can stop at the cardboard. You don't have to put the felt on there. But that looks pretty cool. That looks all right. Let's keep going around here. Now, because I did cut a bit off the cardboard, made, made it a bit smaller than this piece of felt, this is going to work properly, you know. If you understand what I mean, it's going to look really good. I like it. I think that looks better, doesn't it? You can tell me anyway in my comments what you reckon. If you... See, it's got a nice little trim now. It's, uh, I mean, get this bit, get the hook, just, just hook the cotton. You don't have to worry about hooking the fabric. Just hook the cotton to it and it's giving you a nice little stitch too. Isn't it? <laughs> there you go. So to the nice lady, who I'll put your name in in somewhere in the description box that asked me to make this, I hope you are happy with the outcome. And that's got a bit of glue in it there, so we have to, oh dear, we might need to wipe the, the, the needle yet, we right, I oh know, it's okay. Look at that. I do like how that's turning out. If I if I just stuck a piece of lace on it or something, it just would not have done the trick, you know, to cover up the the the, the, the cardboard. I don't think it would have worked properly. And this is just a spur of the moment thought that I put into that to to um, fix it nicely on the bottom. Okay, <laughs> isn't that good? I like that. And I really enjoyed making this, so I really appreciate you asking me to do that. Because <laughs> I think it turned out quite well. And it's going to have to put some pins in it now. Maybe I can retire the old one. And I can use this. I can retire this one. He's old as me, nearly. Oh, well, he's not really. And he's not as deep, too. And I can pull it apart, which I will do. I'll show you how much stuff's in this. I will show you how many needles I've got in here. This one's stuck. That's one of them around the corner ones, you know, like <laughs> sewing up bags or something. I hope this hasn't gone over time. That's a skinny one of them from sewing up bags. I don't need those in there. Let me put them in something else and put them away in a drawer because I don't, I don't think I'm going to need around the corner needle, you know, just in the, in the next little while or so. So I'm going to put that in there. 
uh, is my pins. My look, they look like a lovely little box of pins. Because you can afford to change your needles and pins too because they do get worn out but you know you want to don't want that one then there's got a tiny little wee little eye in it we don't need him there's two there in my hand what am i doing okay so i've got that one i have i always like to have a safety pin handy so i've got three little safety pins Okay, these are too small, these eyes on these, I'm not going to be using them in a big hurry. That's tiny, tiny, they're too small, that's not, this is a good chance to fix this, isn't it? I might, I might put a couple of those little ones in there, but I'm not, not a big fan of them. I like these now. Can't get that out, it's caught around the, oops, whoa, must be stuck in there. It's probably got glue on it or something, I probably stuck glue on it because that would be, I'd see I've got a safety pin. I've got four of them. I don't need all them in safety pins in there. The less you've got in your pin cushion, the more chance you've got of finding something, <laughs> is what I reckon. That's a long one too, but that's I can't use that. Put glue on it. That one's okay. I haven't found many needles that I'm pleased with. That one's not good. There's a good fat one. If you need to make one with that one won't come out. Okay. So I'm gonna undo this and show you what I got in here. <laughs> this will be fun. Please don't cry because I'm destroying my pincushion. You don't know how many I've pulled apart over the years. It's just incredible. Here's a needle, which I don't want. Look how many I've got here that I don't really want in the cushion. <laughs> I need some that I'm gonna use. That one's a good one, I have that. This must be glued in here, it won't come out. <clears throat> come on, let's get this out of here and see what we got in here. Do it carefully too, so you don't want to... See, I could actually use the piece that I've embroidered later, maybe, but I probably won't. You never know. But look at, look at, the inside. Look at this, here's one little piece of cotton, even it's gone down in there. Now that's a good, good needle, it's a good size, I like that one. Oh, I used to make some pin cushions when I was doing all that stuff for the show all the time. Because I was always doing a lot of sewing. The pin cushion would get <coughs> <coughs> unlikable <laughs> or something. I remember time you know, Now, if I could get this out of here, which I don't know what's going on with that, I'll cut it out. I have to. Okay. Come on. <laughs> if you wanted something to stick in there, it wouldn't, would it? Goodness gracious. I'll have to put that somewhere where I don't get it stuck in me. Okay. I'll cut my button off. Make it a lot easier. I know that the, I know you are in here. I know that I've got needles down in here. The bead, like I said, the bead ones are more likely to disappear than anything. Look at this. Can you see that? It's like a, like a porcupine. And I'll go up the street and buy more needles because they're all disappeared. <laughs> and the only chance I get to get them back is when I pull the middle out of me, when I pull my pincushion apart. Some of these are really good too that I really like to use. Because I want, I like something fine sometimes when I'm doing my embroidery in that. You've got to be careful you don't stick them in yourself when you're getting them out. If you're going to do this to your pincushion, <laughs> this is demolishing the pincushion. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. That's a beauty. I like them. That's a good one. It's got a good eye on it and it's got a good good thick one that's doing what we just did. Here's another one. Look at the tiny thing in there. What would I be using that for? There's a bit of cotton in here. Now, I have to really thoroughly go through this because if I'm going to use it again, which I probably will, I have to make sure, I've had this pin cushion made for a really long time. There's a bead one. There's a good bead one. Which one's, where's the top? I'll put him in there. 
because they do disappear down in your pin cushion. Rescuing the needles, we are. <coughs> I've had worse than this. This is not bad at all, actually, because... But I know if you don't put something on the bottom of it, bottom of you, this, really, all every time you go to pick it up, you're probably likely to stick something in your hand because you're getting hold of it, and the and it's going together. I've got another one there, another one here, and it's pushing together when you pick it up, you know, like underneath, and you're going to post your, you're going to poke that through yourself. So do this for yours, and you'll be a lot happier. Okay. And like with the bottom on it, the base on it, it'll be a lot happier. So I'm getting this out, it's got no more needles, I don't think. Can't see any. You know, I, I must have embroidered this after I stuffed it, because look, I've got cotton cord on the. <laughs> well, there you go, Sonia. You did that the hard way. And I've also got a button on there. But I'm going to be putting that. I'm going to keep this, I'll keep all this and make sure there's no needles in it, which I have done. And I'll keep all that and recycle it. And I might put that in the garbage bin, eh? <laughs> to the lady that got me to make this. Thank you very much. I really needed to do that and do an upgrade on that. Because look at the, look what i got now. Isn't that pretty? I do like it. Mm. I'll keep it sitting up somewhere high in my room so I can find it. You know, so I'm sitting on top of the gesso that's sitting on top of the paste. And that way I can um, see it. And I've got all these needles here now, which I will put away somewhere or give away. Anybody that needs a needle, I don't know if you girls need a needle or something any time. And I'll just put a couple of these in here, I think. How's that? Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you did. <laughs> I hope you watched the whole lot because, you, you know, we need to see things to the end, please. <laughs> Because you never know what I'm going to do, do you? <laughs> See, you didn't know I was going to do that. Pull my pin cushion apart. Now I can't find my needle <laughs> that I had in this. I will, I will, don't, nobody panic. I'm sure it's here somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure it's here somewhere. I think I might have put it in there. Could be that one. I don't know, this one will do. And I'll finish doing around here. And then I'm really pleased I made a new pin cushion. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And thank you for asking me to do that. I really appreciate that. It gives me gives me a bit of a challenge, doesn't it? It gives you interest. Okay. Somebody people have asked me before to do the knitted bag, the bead knitted bag. Um, it's a big job. You can't do that in in a, in a video. You just can't do it. It's just not possible. <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching, and we'll talk to you later. So everybody have a make of a pin cushion. Bye bye.